Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to use your own photos to create a slide background in PowerPoint version 2010. So first let's start off with a blank presentation like we see here. And what I'd like to be able to do is to use one of my own photographs, fade it out a little bit, and may turn this into a background on my PowerPoint presentation so that all my slides have this as a background. Now I can do this on individual slides if I, if I chose to, but the best way to do this is to use the master slide view. So first off, let's check on the view ribbon across the top of the uh, PowerPoint screen here. And over in the master's view here on the left hand side, we can see there's an option for slide master, so just click on that. Now we can see then we have various options over here on the left hand side for different formats for our presentation. Now I'd like my um, presentation to feature the photograph on all different types so I've clicked on the uh, upper level slide master over here so that uh, when I add my image it will appear on all different types of slides. So now I'm ready to insert the image so let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to choose the insert ribbon, select from the images section the picture tab and I'm going to scroll down here in my pictures of myself and select one here. I am showing off here a little bit because this is a picture of me on my motorcycle. But that also uh, is something important to consider as well from a copyright point of view. Be careful about uh, using images uh, that are not your own. Don't download stuff from the internet without permission and use it without permission or use other people's photographs without permission. So uh, this is my own photograph so it's perfectly acceptable for me to use this. So now I'm just going to move this over to the top left hand side of my screen here. Now this would be too dark and uh, you wouldn't see any text on it if you use this as a slide presentation so I want to fade it out a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the home ribbon and select a rectangle and I'm just going to draw a box over the whole lot over here. Now this box is blue in my uh, version of PowerPoint here, it might be a different colour on yours but we're going to change this. So right click on the box, choose format shape and that gives us the format shape window here. And what I want to do here is change the colour from the blue that you see. I'm going to change it to white. And you can see in the background the white box now overlays the image. And what I want to do is use the transparency here to fade out my image. And let's see how that works. So I'm going to increase the transparency by using the scroll bar here up to 15%. You can experiment with your own values here to get whatever you need. And then close the format shape window. And you can see my box here is um, fading out the background. If you want it stronger or weaker you can change the percentage that we have there. You'll also see here that uh, these are blocking out the text in behind. So and I want to be able to have all of these boxes and the text up here at the background in front of all of this. And to do that we put our picture and our box to the back. So that's the next step. So select the picture, also then select the box. Right click, now both, both of these are selected, you can see this from the uh, select tool around the edge and choose send to back and that will, when you, you'll see here, all of the text and everything is now in the forefront of my presentation. So now all that remains is for, for me to uh, resize my image, so I'll drag down the bottom here move that out to the right hand side and drag also then drag my box down to the bottom right hand corner so as it's fading out my full slide. So you can just about see in the background there the picture of the motorcycle and myself and the building in behind as a background. Next, choose uh, in the slide master, just choose to close this master view. That's saved in there. So now if I choose to insert any new slides of whatever type they will be, so if I got a comparison slide or if I choose to insert a uh, two column content slide, um, anything I add in here, any content I add in, uh, will be displayed over my image. If I want to change my image again or add in another photograph or change the amount of fading I just go back to the view um, slide master view and I can go in and I can edit these boxes um, or whatever it is that I, I want to choose to do here. I can uh, change the uh, image in the background, change the amount of fading that's here. So you can do this with any of your own photographs to so create any of your own slide backgrounds and it opens up uh, plenty of opportunities for you to personalise your presentation uh, for that next time you're doing an important presentation um, at work or in college. So that's how you use uh, your own photographs uh, to make a slide background in PowerPoint 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.